a farmer, while looking for a healthy food alternative for his cattle, resulted in making them more environmentally friendly, making them less gassy and reducing their emissions of methane. And this eventually led to the finding of a seaweed species that could one day bring these emissions to zero. Joe Dorgan, who formed North Atlantic's Organics, discovered this 15 years ago. He sent samples from seaweed on Prince Edward Island in Canada to Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia, to test for organic certification. These seaweeds had been farmed for five generations, for use as feed and fertilizer. He found that the high uptake of natural vitamins and minerals, caused better reproduction of milk in cows, while also unintentionally finding that it made the cows less gassy. The process of digestion of regular roughage-rich feed, results in the cows to burp more. The burps release methane and fill the environment with a greenhouse gas, that's 80 times more potent than CO2. Now, Rob Kinley, chief scientist at Future Feed, who had worked with Dorgan for the certification, nearly 15 years ago, started to look for a special kind of seaweed species that could further enhance the methane-reducing capabilities. Kinley explained, in a conversation with CBS, quote we started testing seaweeds from coastal Australia, and it wasn't long, before the Asparagopsis species showed up, and it showed up in a big way. So big, that we didn't even believe what we were seeing. It took multiple runs of testing this before we believed what we were seeing, which was we couldn't find methane anymore. Unquote. Now researchers are working on experimenting with farming the seaweed. Josh Goldman from Greener Grazing, who has teamed up with Kinley's team, states that cultivation of seaweed takes about 90 days which allows for multiple cycles per year. Moreover, via the process of aquaculture, it can be grown almost anywhere, as soon as the climate is suitable. Yet it's not going to be enough to feed 1.5 billion cows across the world. However, Goldman highlights that even if some seaweed is added to a cow's diet, they consume less food, while also allowing carbon credits to dairy farmers, and cattle ranchers. Earlier this year, Australian researchers found that this species of red algae could reduce animal methane emissions by 32%, all the way to 98%, depending on the dose, and the type of animal, and the type of diet. Globally, methane is responsible for 30% of global warming. Of that, livestock, such as cattle, account for about one-third of all methane emissions. Asparagopsis taxiformis, a red tropical seaweed, has a very high concentration of what is called bromoform. That's the chemically active component, and that bromoform blocks the biochemical pathway that is used in the rumen to form methane. It could be a possibility in the future, that a microalgae could be found to have the same chemical components, which could be grown almost anywhere, raising the possibility of production facilities closer to the dairy farms. So, let's raise a glass of milk to this red seaweed and let's hope this will be another way that algae can help the human race, to work with nature to find solutions, for our problems we are facing today.